So maybe you just cracked your iPhone and you wanna try and fix it yourself and you're asking yourself, how hard can it be? When this video, we're gonna be going over the main three steps to fix any iPhone screen. Hey there, what's up everyone? Sergio here with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of tech reviews and tutorials. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video like this. And there's gonna be links to everything that I talk about in this video in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out. All right, so maybe you just cracked your iPhone and you're thinking about fixing it yourself or maybe you just have an old iPhone laying around with a cracked screen and you never got around to doing anything with it or fixing it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can fix any iPhone screen in just three simple steps. Let's jump right in. All right, so most iPhones are very similar when repairing their screen. The difference is very minor. So in this video, I'm gonna be using an iPhone 10 for demonstration purposes, and I'm gonna be explaining the differences between the other model iPhones as well, although it is very similar. So let's go. So here we have an iPhone 10 with a cracked glass and OLED display. So the two things that we're gonna need is the new iPhone 10 OLED screen and the correct repair tools to get the job done and we're gonna have links to the screen and to the tools down below in the description all right so step number one is that we need to open up the phone so it's really simple all we need to do to open it up is we need to remove two pentalope screws that are at the bottom of the device here and we have to do it with a special pentalope screwdriver And then once you have the two screws removed, we need to pry the screen upwards to remove it. So what we're gonna be using is a very thin and solid metal prying tool. And you wanna use something metal because it's more sturdy and something super thin so that it goes perfectly between the plastic frame of the screen and the metal housing of the iPhone. So you wanna squeeze it in right in between the plastic here of the frame of the screen and the metal frame of the phone. So as you can see, there's a line right here. I'm gonna wedge it in there okay and then once it's in there like that just a little bit you can go ahead and lift up on it just wedge it up like that and then once you wedge it up you can move uh, around the sides here don't push it in too much because you can damage things inside the phone so just move from side to side like this just with the tip okay then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab another prying tool like this one to place it in here to hold it for support and then once you have the support prying tool that in there you're going to use the thin one to go around the side so you're going to just stick it in just slightly just like this so you don't damage anything inside and you're just going to go down the sides here like this just like that it's gonna be removing the adhesive, holding the screen together, and separating the screen assembly from the metal housing of the phone. We're gonna go down that side, and then we're gonna go down this side. Maybe a little bit hard, but just that's because of the adhesive, so just do it slowly and gently. Okay, once you've gone down both sides completely, put the tool to the side and grab it with your fingers since it will be slightly open. And then one very important key here that you want to keep in mind is that the iPhone 5s and iPhone 6s open upwards like this from the bottom up. From the iPhone 7 to the iPhone 11s, they open up to this side like this to the right, but the new iPhone 12s will open to the left. Just keep that in mind when opening the screen of your iPhone. Okay, so since this is an iPhone 10, it will open to the right. So we're gonna just wiggle the screen just gently like this so that it can loosen up the adhesive up here at the top to remove it. And then we're gonna pull up on it gently towards the left. As you can see, there's some adhesive. We're gonna go ahead and remove that adhesive. Okay, so step one is done. Now let's move on to step number two. Step number two is that you wanna remove the screen from the phone. So we need to separate the screen assembly from the device. So how we do that is we have to disconnect a few cables. We have to disconnect a couple cables that are connecting the screen assembly to the motherboard. And in order to do that, we have to remove a few tri-tip screws. So you need a tri-tip screwdriver. Remember this tool set right here brings all of the correct screwdrivers needed to replace any iPhone screen. So we're gonna be removing five tri-tip screws with the screwdriver. Mm -hmm. 
And also make sure you put your screws organized in an area where you won't lose them because they are very tiny and you can mix them up. Especially if you're a beginner at fixing iPhones, you won't remember which screw goes where. So just place them in order. So when it's time to put it back together, they will be in order. And then one final screw over here under the cable behind this cable right here and that cable is for the ear speaker assembly and sensors and there we go there we have the five screws once you have the screws holding the bracket removed we can go ahead and pull up the bracket with your fingers so this is the bracket for the iphone 10 for all the different iphones uh, the bracket will be different some iphones may have two brackets but the bracket being removed generally the bracket that is holding down the flex cables that connect the screen assembly to the motherboard of your iphone so now that we have the bracket removed first thing we got to make sure now that we're in with the cables here is you want to disconnect the battery so that you prevent any electricity from flowing through the phone and anything being damaged so the flex cable on the iphone 10 is this one right here although you need to make sure that you remove the right flex cable depending on which iphone you have so it's usually going to be a small little cable connected and you'll see a trace of it going towards the battery once the battery is disconnected we can move forward with disconnecting the screen assembly cables so on this iphone the screen assembly cables is this one and this one and that's for the touchscreen and oled panel we're going to go in and disconnect it with the prying tool and then disconnect this one over here as well and then the final cable we need to remove is this one which is for the ear speaker assembly this one is right here and once you have uh, all three cables disconnected and most iPhones do have just three cables, we can go ahead and remove the screen. So now that we are done with the main two steps, now let's move on to step number three and that is removing the small parts from the old broken screen to the new screen. And the parts on the iPhone 10 just gonna be this ear speaker portion right here that we're gonna remove. Although other iPhones have other parts that you will need to remove from the screen. For example, if you have an older iPhone with a home button, you'll need to remove the home button screws and home button assembly as well some iphones also have a metal bracket here on the back that will need to be removed and placed on the new screen as well however the iphone 10 is super simple it just has three tri-tip screws up here that you need to remove to remove this ear speaker assembly so let's go ahead and remove the three screws now And then once the three screws are removed, we can go ahead and give the ear speaker assembly some pressure. Go ahead and gently pull back on the top portion here of the ear speaker assembly so that it will flip back. And then we can see the cables. And then we're gonna need to pry under this cable so that we can gently give it some pressure upwards. And the small pieces here can be released. Like this golden piece here, which is for the microphone, you can go under it here with the prying tool and give it some pressure upwards to release it. And then we're going to go on this side right here, which is the proximity sensor. And we're going to go ahead and give it some pressure upwards on this side. And it will be removed. And then give it some more pressure here on the top portion to remove the ear speaker sensor right here. And the piece will come out like this completely. And then all we have to do is uh, is place that piece onto the new screen. So like I said, we have a link down below in the description to the highest quality OLED panel for iPhone screens. These screens are individually tested before shipments and come with warranty. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove the plastics from the screen assembly. It may have some adhesive and tape on them and you wanna just remove it. And then all we're gonna do is move on to the next step and place the small parts from the old screen back onto the new one. So we're gonna place the ear speaker assembly here first. Position all of the small parts here in their places and give it a little bit of pressure so they can stick back onto the screen assembly. And then we're gonna flip this part over like this. And then once we flip it over, we're gonna hold it in place and we're gonna place the three screws back on. And then once you have the old parts on the new screen, then all you have to do is just place everything back together in reverse order and your iPhone will be fixed. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
let's go ahead and connect the screen back on. So we're gonna connect the two cables for the screen assembly here. We're gonna go ahead and connect the ear speaker assembly cable, which is this one right here. And then finally, we're gonna connect the battery flex cable. And the reason we leave that one for last is because we don't want any electricity flowing through the phone while we are working on it, because that can damage the motherboard of the phone or components in the phone itself. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just place uh, the metal bracket back on and place the five tri-tip screws. Once the five screws are holding the bracket to the frame of the phone, to the phone, we're ready to close the phone up. So once you're ready to close your phone, you always wanna do it with the top in first. So you wanna position the top in the frame of the phone like that. Push it in and push it upwards so that you see that it's nice and tight here with the frame of the phone. And then we can go ahead and close it up at the sides and then this side and move our way towards the bottom of the phone down here. And then once it's all in there, you can just give it a little bit of pressure make sure it's uh, completely closed up and then finally we're just going to place the two pentaloop screws back in and then go ahead and power your iphone on to make sure that it is powering on properly and that the screen is fully working All right, so the screen looks great. All right, everyone, so those are the three main steps to fix any iPhone screen. So if this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a like as it helps me out. And that's it for this video. So I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.